Whether you hit the grill in the summertime or do a little bit of oven baking, you always need a nice homemade barbecue sauce. One that has a little bit of fruitiness, a touch of spice, a hint of smoke, one that'll take whatever you're cooking or grilling to the next level. Welcome to the Sauce and Gravy channel. This is Johnny Mac, and we're gonna dive into a spicy barbecue sauce recipe, a cherry chipotle barbecue sauce. Buckle up, let's go. All right, so let's begin this cherry chipotle barbecue sauce. We'll start off with half of a cup of ketchup or 140 grams, throw it into a sauce pot over medium heat. Next, we'll add a little bit of earthy sweetness. We'll add some molasses. We're gonna put in one tablespoon. And this homemade barbecue sauce recipe is perfect for the summertime. It just has summertime written all over it with the cherries, the chipotle, little bit of spice. It's absolutely phenomenal. To offset that sweet flavor of the ketchup and molasses, we're gonna add a little bit of tanginess, some red wine vinegar, half of a cup or 125 milliliters. So that takes care of the base for this homemade barbecue sauce. Now it's time to incorporate some flavor. We'll start off with a little bit of garlic powder, one fourth of a teaspoon. This homemade cherry chipotle barbecue sauce has a little bit of heat, a little bit of spice. So we're gonna put in one fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper and one fourth of a teaspoon of paprika. And then it's time to round out those spices with a little bit of allspice, one fourth of a teaspoon. And to continue on down that line, that trend of hot and spicy, one eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And last but not least, the chipotle chili powder. One and a half teaspoons, and it goes for a delicious, spicy, hot, homemade cherry chipotle barbecue sauce. So we have a lot going on here with this barbecue sauce. We have the sweetness, we have the tanginess, we have the super hot spiciness. Now it's time to add a little bit of smokiness. Liquid smoke, hickory flavor, one teaspoon. We're still over medium heat, and now is the perfect time to give the sauce a mix to incorporate those flavors before you add the cherries. Once you add the cherries, it's a little bit harder to stir and incorporate things, so go ahead, grab a whisk, grab a spoon, grab anything that you can, and give it a little bit of a stir. All right, so we're ready to roll with those cherries. Now I'm putting in one cup or 150 grams. I'm using fresh cherries. I've made sure to pit them, got rid of the seeds. You can use frozen cherries if you'd like, just thaw them out before you put them into the sauce. So we have all of our ingredients in this homemade barbecue sauce recipe. Everything is in the sauce pot. It's time to bring it to a nice simmer. You don't really need to bring it to a boil. Bring it to a simmer. Once it starts to simmer, reduce the heat to low, and you're gonna reduce this for 20 minutes or roughly by half. So it's been 20 minutes, the sauce is nice and thick, those cherries have reduced down, all the flavors have concentrated, and check it out, an absolutely delicious looking red cherry chipotle chili sauce. Now it's time for our final step for this homemade barbecue sauce recipe. It's time to make this sauce nice and silky smooth, so time to break out a blender. But before we blend, taste the sauce and add a little bit of salt to taste. To really make a super smooth sauce, I like to use the smoothie maker, especially because this has cherry, so big chunks in it. So I really like to use the smoothie maker, but to do that, you have to let the sauce cool down completely. So I've let this cool down for 20 to 30 minutes. The sauce is completely cool. But you can use any sort of blender that you like. You can use an immersion blender. You can use a regular blender. If you use a regular blender, just again, just make sure that the sauce is cool so you don't pop the top off and splatter it all over. You definitely don't want to get burned. But you can make it smooth any way that you like. And this homemade cherry chipotle barbecue sauce, it's spicy hot. And it's really extra good as a cooking sauce. It's a perfect homemade barbecue sauce for basting whenever you're cooking on the grill or oven baking. You can throw it on chicken, you can throw it on pork, put it on flank steak, throw it on some vegetables, pop them onto that grill. It's absolutely perfect. It's super spicy and tasty. Once the barbecue sauce has been blended, you can hit the grill and start basting away or grab a glass container and save it for later. But check it out, it's nice, it's smooth, it's thick, it'll stick to whatever you're cooking on the grill or in the oven. It has that deep, dark red color, that cherry red color. It's fully packed with flavor, this cherry chipotle barbecue sauce. Well, thanks for watching this recipe. Go on out and give this a shot. Come on back, leave us a comment on how it worked out for you. And don't forget to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and to as always, 
to live, love, and make gravy.